deceived. In the last days there shall come false crises. Uh, Christ or people who are professing to know Jesus as we have uh, recently seen uh, the man who said May 21st was the end of the world in 2011. Uh, didn't happen. Charles Taz Russell with the Watchtower, a.k.a. Jehovah Witnesses slash Seventh-day Adventists, went through that early on here uh, in uh, Americanized Christianity. You need to have your history of the church, and now we're seeing not only a move towards Islamic societies, uh, but we're seeing a move towards world faith or faith societies which incorporate uh, the best of uh, the lifestyles of the rich and the famous and, and allege that this is the kingdom of God exhibited for all the world to see and they even say God has laid up the wealth of the wicked for them. These lazy Christians suggest that they can claim your hard earned money from the efforts of so and reaping that uh, you have invested in your academia, uh, in your time, and things of this nature. Uh, but these people come along and uh, suggest some Old Testament scriptures that are uh, eisegetically and exegetically uh, uh, literal to its manuscript and text, anthropologically, archaeologically, and time setting and date of that time and not this time. Don't get it twisted. Uh, the fullness of time have come, uh, and the kingdom of God is within you. Uh, you don't hear me, though. And uh, it's time that we humble ourselves to the cross of Christ. Uh, Jesus told the rich young ruler when he ran and said, uh, I got my name on the road, uh, and I've been a member in this church ever since they laid the first stone. Uh, I'm born a Baptist, bred a Baptist. And when I'm dead, oh Lord, I'll be a Baptist. But Jesus said to the young man, one thing thou lack is to sell out. You can be on the church board, but you're not sold out. You can be in the choir singing, and you're not sold out. You can have political status in the community, and you're not sold out. God looking for you to lay it down and give it up and turn it loose. Can you say yeah? And say, Lord, have your way in me. Can you say amen? Because this model must put on immortality, and it does not yet appear where we shall be. But one thing I know, I know when he shall appear, I'll be like him. Can you say yeah? I'm like Job. If a man die, will he live again? And I heard Job say, all the days of my appointed time, I'm going to wait till my change come. Can you see? Yeah. 
I'm talking about a change, not a transformation, but a transfiguration. Change from mortal to immortality. Change from howdy howdy to never goodbye. Just as soon as my feet strike sign, as the old folks say, I'm going to lay down. Can you reach over to somebody and say, I'm going to lay down all of my heavy burdens, all of my troubles. Lie on me. Talk about me. Hate on me. Makes no difference. One of these old days, I'm going to lay down my burdens and pick up my crown. And I'm going to declare the immortality that has been promised to all of us in Jesus Christ, who said, I am the resurrection. If a man believe in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. If he believe in me and he live, he shall never die. Can you say, man, it's the real to the prophet, and we out on the real in Jesus' name. That's solid rock. Let's sign. So I told the storm, Craig Quinn and Joyce Noise, I done told the storm, bag up, get a real chill profit, 50 feet.
say when you moan, oh, oh, hallelujah, the devil don't know what you're talking about. Life. 